Kami masih bersama dengan Mose Panjaitan, co-founder dan juga CEO dari Miota. So we would like to know more. Uh, Miota has been in the business since 2018, right? Right. What are the challenges that you find to develop uh, IoT business? Right. I mean, both for the company and also the ecosystem. Right. I think um, we we I previously mentioned some of the challenges like uh, regulations and everything, but. Uh, one of the major challenge for us is actually getting the, the clients to, to understand the benefits and how they can benefit if they transition to utilizing our platforms because it takes a while, especially in the industries that we're going into, for them to get acquainted and get used to uh, using Internet of Things. And this digital transformation, as we hear all the time, is the process of transforming it in, from manual to digital and getting everyone uh, everyone involved to get used to it. I think that's that's one of the biggest challenges. I think this uh, pandemic brings momentum to digital transformation. I think so, yeah. So, so how do you uh, try to grab the opportunities? Right, so that's completely true. So um, I guess the, the, the good that we can take from this, especially for us, is companies and uh, governments, corporations, they're all moving towards this digital transformation a lot quicker now because they need to. Before it's before it wasn't something that they needed to do, but it's just something that would be good to do. But now we we try to, um, I guess, capitalize on this opportunity by having webinars as well. Uh, just a few weeks ago, we had this uh, the webinar called Meal Talk, and uh, where our CSO and CMO played a role there. And there were a lot of um, corporations from um, from the government as well as the, the the private sector, they they were all very interested, and because of that, we we are closer to I guess closing off more deals, and that's how we we take it in. Okay, what are the services and solutions that can be solved or offered by Miota through Internet of Things? Right. So right now we're focusing on mostly on Miota City, or uh, again most of your mostly referred to um, smart city I guess what which which is we we do a lot of monitoring controlling um, a lot of the meters but we do vertical integration right so from the hardware soft firmware software the infrastructure and the big data as well as we implement the the payment gateway so it's easier for people to actually make make the purchases that they need and in terms of the the one that we're gonna be doing the big one next month is uh, we're gonna have that all consolidated, and that's one of our biggest one. Another one that's actually on our pipeline is Miota Energy, where we can utilize uh, th this new novel technology, um, which uh, which utilizes a passive generator to make your electric consumption more efficient by 30 to 40 percent. And if your electricity um, consumption is more efficient by that much, especially for industries, you can save a lot of cost, right? Yeah. Other than that, we also have collaborations uh, right now in R&D stage for um, it's namely Mioto, which is Miota Transportation, which we are trying to solve inefficiencies in transportation and logistics, as well as we have uh, with our current partner, um, DTEC, we're developing a distributed manufacturing platform, which is trying to solve inefficiencies in manufacturing as well as uh, the supply chain. Which sectors that use most of your services? Actually, a lot of sectors. Right. Lot Every of sector. sector can use, yeah. but most sectors that use the services. Right. Right now, mostly because uh, we're focusing, doubling down, I guess, on the Miota City. Yeah. It's uh, the sectors who are involved heavily in utilities. So some, some government and some uh, corporations as well who are dealing with electricity, uh, water, uh, as well as uh, gas. Which and government that are interested or already use the services from Yoda? So um, the one the one for next month is actually uh, will keep everyone updated. But I guess we, we don't want to be too early on our on our words right now. But the one next month will be um, somewhere in uh, Sumatra Selatan, which that will be the big one that utilizes the Miota city. Before that, uh, before before that, before Miota was even doing managed service. We, uh, we help a lot of the governments using Miota Eco, which we deal with uh, monitoring and controlling the, the weather or the air quality and 
just the the environment as a whole. So do you encourage more government to use these services, definitely. Internet of Things? Definitely. I think a lot of governments can can definitely benefit from our services and our solution. And because we vertically integrate most of the things, uh, especially the core elements, we are able to drive the cost so low that makes it very feasible for a bigger implementation. It's very scalable, I guess. For okay, us. I see. And uh, what are your strategies to expand your business? Right. Um, I guess uh, this comes down to to one of our one of our main values, which is um, collaboration. Again, we we want to. We want to be able to collaborate with a lot of different parties who are involved in the IoT space because right now there are so many. Um, there are those who are actually uh, starting to understand the, the the benefits that IoT can bring, but they're all very segregated. So you have some companies doing the hardware, some companies making the the, the infrastructure, the, doing the software. So if we're able to be the enabler for all of these different IoT companies, I think they'll they'll help us in, in scaling up and expanding not just vertically but also horizontally. So we know that this business is capital intensive so we would like to know uh, the sources of your funding. Is right. it like venture capital or from right. any other sources? Yeah, so as of now we, we have um, fundings from our angel investors and as well as early investors. We're not, I mean... How much? If we, will, if we can know. Um, it's still disclosed. I guess the, 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 we... I don't. I don't know if I'm allowed to to say to say the amount, but it's a it's, it's a decent amount. <laughs> right, right, right. It's a it's a decent amount, but um, outside of investors, we're trying to get collaborations with financing institutes as well, because a lot of these projects that we're trying to do, we're trying to keep it as easy and as simple as possible for our clients. That's why our our motto is uh, "Live Smart," so everyone can just be able to live smarter by by um, utilizing our solutions easily. So if we are able to um, garner a coll a collaboration with financial institutes, such as, such as um, uh, I guess, banks would be one of them and other financial companies, that will greatly um, increase the scalability of our solutions. How lucrative is this business? I'm sorry? How lucrative? It's, uh, it's quite lucrative, actually, because um, especially, especially from New York City. So you have City. positive bottom line? Um, you could say in the in the soon, <laughs> soon, yeah, because because we have high capital expense, yes. and we are, because we have high capital expense at the very at the moment right now, uh, we don't have a positive bottom line uh, to to, uh, um, to say. But in the near future, very near future, I think it'll become positive uh, for our cash flow very very quickly because, especially for Miyota City, we deal a lot with the government institutes and and other corporations that deal with the governments, our contracts are very, very long. And having those long contracts help in, in the scaling up of our different solutions. So you have recurring income? Yes, we have recurring income. Okay. Exactly. So I would like to know what, uh, for the skills and also human resources, is it difficult to find uh, the skills and also right. the human resources that you need to expand your business? Yeah, so uh, in terms of uh, engineers, I think we don't have too much of a problem in looking for software engineers because a lot of people are moving into software right now. All the big tech companies are doing software. But what's very difficult is actually getting a lot of engineers who specialize on hardware because that's not so popular at the moment. And uh, I guess, I guess uh, in terms of um, human capital uh, as a whole, we see them as very important. So we try to to, to make sure that there are a lot of opportunities for these engineers and if, if a lot of people are doing more hardware and uh, the people now who are doing software are interested in working at Miyota, we're very open and we've been, uh, we have worked in the past and still now, I guess, with um, a few educational institutes, UGM, kita kerja sama sama UGM, we had two, I think, around, I think two people who, who, who did a study lapangan yeah. for, uh, with us. Where, where they get a lot of benefits. We're actually thinking of, we, we were in touch with UGM to, to develop some sort of an IoT research center where a lot of the students can help out as well. And I think that'll be like a great um, ecosystem for us to develop our, our platform and our ecosystem and a lot of, for a lot of the students as well to develop uh, their skills.
Okay, Moses, this is the last one. Sure. Uh, do you think that there are still a lot of opportunities for IoT commercializations in Indonesia? Definitely, definitely. Uh, very, very widespread adoption is very likely in the next few years, I feel, especially with the regulations uh, becoming, I guess, uh, understanding more the benefits of it and uh, assisting us in, the, in that venture. So again, right now we're focusing on Miota City, uh, Mioto, which is transportation logistics, as well as Miota Industries. But in the future, we're also opening up our doors to collaborating with those who are working, who can, uh, um, I guess, add value to our other platforms, which would be like in health, in the health sector, and in the in the smart home sector, and then in the retail and anywhere else that IoT can be implemented. Okay, thank yeah. you very much, Mose Panjaitan, co-founder so and also the CEO of Miota.